Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season two of the Demon Girl Next Door. It's gonna get started with episode one and three, two, one. Hold on, it's being stupid. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> No, baby. Oh. Hmm. Are you going out on a date? Yeah, are you gonna go ahead and transform? <laughs> Konnichiwa! I don't know if this is the same person who sang season one. I mean, like, we all know that the opening to season one is mwah, classic. That was fucking cute, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I just can't believe the show is finally back. Yeah, because it kind of seems like Momo has something on her mind. Guy, maybe? Who knows? Uh-oh. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it's not a date. And that's why you're wearing a dress. Mama was just distracting the hell out of Shamiko. <laughs> well, yeah, but she couldn't understand it. Oh, baby. Baby went on a date.
I think you're probably referring to Shamiko's apartment building. Yeah, right there. That's where it is. Uh, well, of course. <laughs> I thought you would be staying with Momo. Oh yeah, a hundred and twenty yen. That is very inexpensive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you I get you on that. <laughs> oh god. About that. <laughs> oh, but of course she would be wearing that outfit because of course see Shami Cole is so big busted. <laughs> What did you expect for 120 yen? I mean, seriously, no offense. But what were you expecting? Yes. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she's so cute. Mm hmm. Momo? I know, Uh huh. <laughs> the the doom. <laughs> what are you guys giving me? Hot like JoJo vibes. <laughs> Momo <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot they got... <laughs> because it's been so long since the show aired. Like, it's just so funny the things that you kind of remember and forget. Baby. Hmm. I'm guessing Mika. Oh, what the fuck is that? Mika can't cook. Yeah. Okay. No.
I mean, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy a whole bunch of citrus. It doesn't taste good. It has very... Oh, Lord. What happened? <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ, Mekon! What the f- <laughs> This girl was like, you know what? <laughs> okay, the only thing I can describe about that scene- Okay, you know when you get like the flavored water things like the Mio's and it's like that? Okay, so when you first get one of those, like especially when it is your first time, you're like, I want a whole bunch in my water. And then you try it and it tastes disgusting. Like, I have, um, I put maybe like four or five drops in it. There was one time when I had this fruit punch and I put like five drops in it and I drank it. I was like... <laughs> But oh my god. Okay, so first thoughts on this second season. I really love it a lot. Oh my god. I, I love the fact that we are literally kind of continuing literally right after the way season one ended and such. I love the fact that we get to see the babies again because it's been such a long time since season one came out. And, you know, season one was hella underrated, but it still got popular on people. Um, and I feel like it's going to be like that exactly with this season two. Like, it is going to be very popular, but not as popular as a lot of people think it's going to be. But it is going to have a lot of meme-worthy moments, just as much as season one did. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy this a lot. Hell, I enjoyed it. And it's only the first freaking episode. And I cannot wait to laugh at more stupid things with these group of girls. The opening is... Mwah, mwah, mwah. The ending is mwah. everything about this second season is off to a good fucking start. Even though unfortunately, oh my god, look at baby mama. <laughs> Even though probably just for this week, um, of course I'm gonna have to have this come out tomorrow because of the fact is I still have to get some other things done tonight, and I don't want to edit this. Then be like, oh, okay, let me go ahead and do my other stuff. And then I don't go to bed till like the wee hours of the morning, even though sometimes I do go to bed in the wee hours of the morning. Because it's now 8.17 now and I have like two more things to do and that's going to take me like two hours. So I'm probably not going to get done till like 10 o'clock. But I mean, I enjoyed it so freaking much. I honestly cannot wait to see, you know, once again, everybody like, I need more Shamiko and Momo dates. Like, that was the one thing that I always enjoyed about season one. Like, any moment where Shemiko and Momo were together. It is weird that they're all going to be essentially living in the same apartment building together. Because at first I was like, okay, Shemiko and Mikan are going to be, like, be neighbors. And then it's like, oh, okay, all three of them are going to be neighbors. And it's like, okay, so why? I understand, like, Mikan moving. Um, 
but for Momo, because Momo got the house, <laughs> which technically is her parents' house, but still, it's her house, so I'm like, ma'am. <laughs> okay, one thing I'm also expecting is, um, and I've been using this, like, on my Twitter, like, counting down to this day of when this show started and such. There's a... <laughs> character that always kept saying in Japanese like the time has come and, and finally like I put it last night because I was like hey 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 we're, we're in the day of the show airing right I hope that character makes an appearance again <laughs> because I fucking loved him so damn much but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode one of season two of the demon girl next door if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the match squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday for episode two bye guys